All right, guys, welcome back to part two of the side quest. We got our key entry tickets today. So here are some five stars that I'm just going to bring in specifically for path B, which is all skills. You want uh, someone who can bleed. Uh, ideally, lot, the more bleeds you have, because when they throw a special, they're going to go... Um, debuff immune but the debuff immunity is going to be less uh won't last very long depending on how many debuffs you can put on your opponent i did use uh my five star weapon x here because he is global i know lots of people might not have a weapon x um even as a five star but i happen to have him here so I'm going to use him. He does put on a ton of bleeds. So you're going to see when Electra throws her special, it, the debuff immunity is not going to last particularly long. You also cannot gain power unless you're putting on debuffs. You can see that immunity there popped up on the right-hand side, but the actual timer for the immunity did not show up at all. Um, so the main one that uh, you want to focus on, the first three fights, obviously, like, honestly, you can do them with anybody. It doesn't matter. Um, yes, ha getting power, like you don't need to be gaining power. The last fight is the um, Thor Ragnarok, where you need to throw a special every 20 hits in order to prevent his power gain. You don't want him to go to special three. Other than that, it's not so bad. Also, remember to use, uh, to beat Thor Ragnarok with a Saga champion for this month. Like here, I'm using Archangel just as an example. He puts on those passive neurotoxins. So even when she does, uh, Black Hat does throw a special, it's not going to matter. Those uh, passive neurotoxins will stay on there. Uh, and again, just a reminder, if you're just jumping into the side quest, do a random path first, then use your gate keys so that it guarantees you um, that you can get all three paths done in your four runs. That Once you've done the first three runs, then the fourth run, bring in a team, you'll have a chance to do one more random uh, path and you will be uh, good to go uh, just to get those extra 500 7 star shards and some 750 um, cavalier crystal shards but uh, really nothing else I tried regular wolverine he did not put on nearly enough debuffs especially because uh, night thrasher can purify them so he was not the best option here and then for your viewing pleasure I use like a like a maybe a rank three uh, five star um, toad for the uh, Thor Ragnarok fight and toad is good because he can put on some passive um paralytic poisons uh so that helps as well uh but again nothing really too exciting on path b i think the other two paths had the much more difficult uh time but uh if you did get through those then this one should be pretty easy if you didn't have this one in um you know if you if you had this on let's say your first run then hopefully you got through it and you can check out my first video for path a and c if you're like me and ended up with a or c as your first ones then this is the last one that you need so hopefully that helps you out guys when you let the music play out you can watch the fights in their entirety and we'll see you next week for week four of the side quest see ya bye guys